The newly established relationship between council and local police has helped security and police officers respond to hundreds of incidents in the past two months. With 24 hours CCTV monitoring, police say the arrangement is helping to put offenders before the courts. The start of the new financial year signalled a new era for security in Townsville, with council and police joining forces to respond to incidents as they happen, thanks to a CCTV network monitored 24-7. It's quite obvious that uh, the 24-hour you know, surveillance monitoring and the operational protocols with police uh, are working. Since the live monitoring started on July 1, council data shows more than 250 incidents have been detected by the cameras. More than 100 of those incidents were in the CBD, dozens more at Riverway and along the Strand, plus just over 10 at the Jazim Barracks. They can identify some issues that maybe police aren't aware of and we can also provide them with some issues that we're having difficulties with when we are looking at prosecuting offenders. So uh, working with the council is definitely beneficial for the whole community. Most of the incidents have been alcohol related, but there's been dozens of assaults and drug related offences also detected along with traffic incidents. Council data shows so far there has been 40 requests from police for copies of vision. It helps to track down those offenders and identify them and um, helps the, jo the job of the police um, making it a little bit easier for us to put people before the court and are able to capture that evidence. The council partnership with police is now into its third month. At the end of September, the program will be reviewed to see exactly how well it's working and what needs to be improved. The mobile patrol with the, with the vehicle and also the live monitoring 24-7, I think it's been a great success to date. But as I said, we won't can our chickens before they hatch. We just need to make sure over the longer period of a three-month review that it is actually working. Benjamin Stavala, Win News.